we didn't do the earth with a skybox because this is actually a little bit low resolution one thing you need to watch with these skyboxes and maybe some of you start to find this out is that when you get in vr you really see the low resolution of the skybox uh, we actually had a planet a very high resolution planet with clouds as a separate shader and we had very high resolution textures and it was actually rotating according to the time of day we're not going to do any of that because we're going to just do this skybox it still looks pretty cool um the other trick, which always works good with space, is you need to get your lighting right. So I've got a direction light in there. That direction light is, first of all, it's not aligned with the sun. So it's not actually pointing the same direction as the sun over there. So we want that lined up. So I'll just do a reset to zero on that. See where that puts me. Reset to zero. Ah, so hopefully I've only got to do a minus 180. Okay. Okay, is that doing it? Okay. Um, work up the intensity, intensity, intensity. Ah, hmm. I've had this before. There is something annoying about the textures on this. Um, I am going to, can I still select the asset? Yeah, I'm gonna try this, Sphere Terrace. I'm gonna delete that one. Sphere, sphere terror. There we go. Yeah, there's some copying and pasting it from the other scene. There's something about the way the light's baked that I do not want to debug in this particular lesson. So I'm just going to drag it straight out of the object. Right, let's do that. That's why the lighting wasn't working on it. Okay. Right. Actually, let's just do minus lighting on that and pull it forwards. Okay, right. How are we looking? Smooth up. So space lighting space lighting is actually pretty direct if you go and like look at movie references go and watch something like gravity or um really anything um light in space is like there's only one light source and it's super direct and it has really really harsh shadows so we've got an aspect of that right now it does always help to do an extra couple of things which is where's my direction light uh space uh light in space is pretty much white because it's not passing through any atmosphere. Light gets, the sun gets its color by passing through the atmosphere. There is no atmosphere up here. So pure white, it's already looking pretty kind of like you're out on the outside of the space station. Very cool, nice and harsh. In fact, I'm gonna leave it like that. I quite like that light shape um, when you're staring directly at the sun. What you could also do is put a volume in there and do the bloom. So you can get some nice bloom coming from the, from the sun. I'm not going to do that. You can refer back to the light and sound lesson if you want to put some bloom. But we've got the kind of the basics and already just with a kind of a couple of a couple of things, we've got something which is a pretty 